from the Swedish Genealogy Guide. I'm Jeff Morris. And in this lesson, we are going to talk about birth and christening records for Swedish genealogy. There are very few countries in the world that have such comprehensive records for genealogy as Sweden does. This is because of the Church Law of 1686, which mandated that all parishes should keep a record of births, marriages, and deaths for the entire kingdom. How do you access these great records? Well, they're available through four providers online. The first one is Archive Digital. Archive Digital is a private company that decided to digitize the parish records using digital cameras, so all of their images are in color. The next one is Svar, that is the publication arm of the Swedish National Archives. And their images are online. They were scanned from microfilm, so the images are in grayscale. Family Search has the images online, also scanned from microfilm, so those images are in grayscale. And Ancestry.com has them as well, um, which were also scanned from microfilm and in grayscale. So three of the four uh, providers are only accessible if you have a subscription. The fourth one, uh, Family Search, you access through a, an LDS account. Now, even with that said, you can access Archive Digital and Family Search and Ancestry.com through a Family Search Center for free. So, if you just find the closest center to where you live, you can you can go use those providers for free. Now, let's look at an example. Here's an ancestor named Mats Persson. Now, in order to look up his birth information, you have to know the parish that the birth took place in. So you might get that from a household examination record, or an online family tree, or from family records. In this case, we know from the household examinations that Mats was born the 19th of April in 1780. Now, it's said that he was born in a place called Helleforsch. Helleforsch turned out to be a parish in Örebro County. So to put that into perspective, um, here's a, a list of all the counties in Sweden with a map, and you can see that right here is Örebro County. Within Örebro County, you have lots of parishes, and Helleforsch Parish is right up here. Okay, I'm going to use Archive Digital to look up the birth information for Mats Persson. I have already purchased the subscription. I have installed the viewer and have now opened the viewer. And when the viewer opens, the first thing you do is you come up to this left-hand corner and you type in the name of the parish that you're wanting to look up. Now, Helleforsch has the letter A, which is the A with two dots in it. That's a Swedish letter that we don't have in the English alphabet. You see, Swedish has three extra letters that we don't have in the English alphabet. They are O, A, and Ö. And if the name of the parish has one of those letters in it, you have to represent it when you try to do the search. Now, there's a good article in our in the Swedish Genealogy Guide blog on how to type the Swedish letters U, A, and U. It's really easy. They're just built into operating systems to be able to do that a few different ways. In this case, I've already installed or activated the Swedish keyboard. So I'm just going to type H, A, L, L. And notice as I'm typing that on the list of, of uh, place names and parishes on the left side of the screen here, that the list automatically changed. So at this point, I can just scroll down and look for Hella Forsch, which is right here. When I click on that, look how the records that are available for Hella Forsch through Archive Digital appeared on the right side of the screen here. At this point, I can just scroll down looking for the birth records. So I'm going to go to birth and christenings. And we want to look up a birth that said to take place or took place in 1780. 
So here's birth and christenings, 1775 to 1801. I'll go ahead and double click on that. When I do that, uh, a tab <clears throat> opens right up here. So I still have the search tab over here. And now I've got the record tab. And I can just start scrolling through the record. Now I can use this at one page at a time, or I could do five pages at a time. Or if I wanted, I can use a drop down and just go to a specific page. I always recommend scrolling forward to see if there's a table of contents first. There's no, uh, there, there was no standard format to how these records were kept or how they were organized. So you always want to see if there's a table of contents. It looks like in this case, there isn't one. So the book is most likely just going to be chronological. I'm going to go over to image tools and click on auto contrast and then again on image tools to make that go away. I'm going to use the wheel on the mouse to just uh, zoom in. I'll just roll that wheel to zoom in here. And then I just uh, click and drag to be able to move the image around. So it starts out on 1775. I'm going to jump down maybe, oh, let's say 30 pages. So that puts us at 1779. Now I can do one page at a time here, or I could do five pages at a time. So I'm going to click on five pages because we want, uh, we want April of 1780. And let's see, looks like we're still at the end of 79. I go one page more. There's the beginning of 1780. I keep pressing one at a time. I see January, February. Here's March. We want April 19. Okay, so it looks like entry number 30 over here is uh, the child's name was Mats. The birthday is April 19th. He was christened on the 20th of April. Looks like in this column, we've got the, the names of the parents, Peter Persson, and he was a skredara, he's a tailor, and his mother is Katrina Nils' daughter. And the mom and dad were living in a little village called Lilla Tomshun when this child was born. Now, to, to uh, find out what the words mean for all of these column headings that you're looking at, I created a class handout, which is available on the Learning Center of the Swedish Genealogy Guide. And uh, it's just a single page, double-sided, that you can print out that has a list of keywords to help you with these column headings. It also offers keywords that you uh, might find in the entry. And uh, at that point, we have found the birth entry for Mats Persson. We have found out the name of his mom and dad. And so uh, with that, we will just close this lesson. Now, if you appreciate this content, I would, I would be grateful if you would give it a like or uh, if you would share it through one of the social media channels. And to learn how to read the birth and christening records better, look for the other lessons in our learning center on how to read birth and christening records records for the time period that's closest to, uh, to the entries you're looking at. Thank you.